Hi everybody, Healthy Prepper here. And guess what? It's Halloween! And we're very excited around our house because Halloween is a big celebration around here. We really get into it. We have a lot of fun with it. And I knew it was time I get out there and get my Halloween candy. So, when this is the time of year when, yep, the zombie apocalypse can really happen and you never know who is at your front door, didn't, didn't, didn't. You've got candy to keep them away. This will guaranteed make them scurry back into the streets from whence they came. Okay, so what I did, I went to my handy dandy dollar store and I thought to myself, I'm going to start here. And if I can't find what I'm looking for here, I'll head over to Big Lots. And if I can't find it Big Lots, then I'll go to the regular stores. But I did pretty well at the dollar store. I was very happy. And so let me just give you an idea. I'm actually in my pantry right now and just sitting here on the floor organizing the Halloween candy. I've got surrounded by food on every which way. Got my canned hams over here. Love these babies. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this. I'm going to empty all the candy into the center of the floor. And they even have these cute little bags. Uh, little Ziploc bags, um, which I'm going to put the candy in for easy distribution. Got to keep those zombies moving. Okay, so what I looked for, oh, one more bag. There we go, here we go, there it is. Okay, yep, looks like a lot of candy. Now, from a prepper's perspective, of course I thought to myself, what about Halloween next year? What if the situation is different? What if we have um, civil unrest, or what if we have the collapse of the dollar? EMP, you pick it. Um, Halloween might not be there the way we're normally used to it. So how can I prepare ahead of time for a family celebration that I still want to celebrate to keep things as normal as possible um, during any circumstance? Okay, so from a prepping perspective, um, first of all, I have to separate my candy that I've purchased into what I'm going to give away at Halloween this year and what I'm going to keep for prepping candy. Um, candy that I'm going to store away for a longer period of time. And I have a few uh, ways I distinguish what I'm going to store. One thing I'm going to look for is powdered form candy or pressed powdered form candy. Some of my all-time favorites, Smarties. Uh, these are these tiny little pressed uh, candies, hard powder form. They will last a long time. So this is a good bet to store in uh, vacuum seal or mylar bags uh, for long-term storage. So they pass. Now, another th uh, something that I'm maybe not going to want to include in my prepper storage of candy is going to be something with a soft or a creamy center or any kind of liquid in it. Any kind of liquid won't store as well or any kind of cream center won't store as well. Um, all candy is high sugar so you pretty much got the high sugar content which is a great preservative for food. Um, it's rare that any candy is going to go bad anyway but if it's got a high sugar content but the harder the candy or the uh, firmer the candy is packed more dense uh, the higher the density of the candy like the, uh, the powder packed smarty that will give you a longer storage life uh, so a hard candy like a mint uh, peppermint these things uh, will probably honestly be good for just about ever as long as they're kept in a cool dry uh, oxygen um, removed environment so I'm going to put those in the long-term food storage bucket. So I've got two so far. I've got those. Now Tootsie Rolls, while they would probably last a long time, they are a little gummy and a little chewy, and a heat does affect a Tootsie Roll. It will get softer and mushier. So I'm going to put that in the giveaway this year to the zombies. Um, affectionately known as, uh, that is lovingly said, zombies. <laughs> um, okay, exploding candy. Well, you can just listen to this. 
This is powdered crystal form candy. It probably has citric acid in it. That makes it the uh, um, snap, crackle, pop kind. Um, but this is good to keep for a long time. So I'm going to put that in the long-term food storage prepping pile. Okay, now here I've got some caramel apple taffy candy. Again, this is soft. It's going to be affected by heat. It doesn't have a, a liquid scent or anything like that, but because it's so soft, I'm going to put it in the giveaway this year pile. Scored some more Smarties here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put those in the store for long-term food storage. Now, we've got some hard butterscotch candies. These are nice and hard, no liquid center, dense, and not affected as much by heat, so we're going to put these in the long-term food storage. Somehow my long-term food storage is much higher than my giveaways. I'm going to have to think about that. I'd have to do a little trade here. Okay, now I've got some bubble gum, an all-time winner. And uh, another thing when I'm buying these at the, the store, I always look at how many pieces are in each bag. Uh, that can help me fill up these little bags a lot faster and I can buy less and get more little bags out of it. And almost everybody loves a good bubble gum. So bubble gum, it is soft. It's firmer than a toffee and a Tootsie Roll, but actually these feel, do feel pretty hard. Um, so kind of think of your double bubble consistency, that type of thing. If they're pretty hard and you can't squeeze them, that gives me more certainty that they're okay to store in the long-term storage. Okay. Now these little guys are gum eyeballs. So they're very basically like the round uh, gum that you get out of the gumball machine at the store. And they're pretty dry, crystallized sugar with some gum in, in the center, but it is... Um, pretty hard gum. So I think these are pretty safe to store, but I have extras of these, so I'm going to put one to give away and one to store. Okay. Got some more bubble gum, and I've already got one in the storage, so I'm going to go ahead and put those in the giveaway. Smarties. I've got several of those to pack, but then I think it's time I add to the giveaway this year pile. Now, here we've got more bags of the gumballs, and I think these are definitely good for long-term food storage, and I do have two packages of them, so I'm going to put one in each, the giveaways and the long-term food storage. Candy sticks. These are reminiscent, reminiscent of uh, those good old cigarette sticks, which hopefully they don't sell anymore for kids, um, but these are hard, condensed sugar sticks compressed powder again um, made into a stick form and very little area for deterioration because there's no sugar I'm sorry there's no liquid uh, they're not soft they're uh, very high density so these can be stored in the long-term food storage and I got some backups of those which I think I'm going to give away this year so that would be enough for there too and another good thing um, that we'll store for a long time, you always want to test the hardness of candy, are uh, lollipops. Lollipops are basically hardened sugar water and colored sugar water. And these will stay very good for long term. Um, the only problem with these is they have the stick and all of that, so that does take up a lot of extra space. You do risk a puncture because of the stick itself of your long-term food storage bag. So I think even though they're hard enough to go into food storage, I'm going to go ahead and put those in the giveaway pile because I think that uh, they'll be better, better served out there and they won't puncture my Mylar bag or my uh, vacuum seal bag, most importantly. So here's just a few extra of uh, the eyeballs and the other ones. So I'll probably toss those, see how many bags I can make out of my little Ziploc bags. And if I need some more, I'll put those in either department, depending on how many extras we have. So there you have it, folks. It's uh, Prepper's Halloween, thinking ahead. No, this is not the most healthiest uh, uh, assortment of food here. But then again, please note that most of this will be given away to, yes, didn't.
Da -da, the zombies that are coming to the door. So um, I'm feeling good about that. I know I'm going to have happy zombies. And I know in future times, I'm still going to have something in the pantry that the family can get excited about. Everybody needs a treat every once in a while. Um, can't live on lettuce alone all the time. Uh, you need to have some fun. And Halloween is a great reason to pull out uh, the candy and then get back on that healthy diet to keep you strong and healthy for many years of prepping to come So happy and healthy prepping everybody and uh, happy preppers Halloween healthy prepper here mm -hmm.